Mother and Son is back on our screens. But we're not talking about reruns. ABC has reimagined this classic Australian family sitcom. This time, Matt Okine plays the video game boy who returns home after a breakup. And Denise Scott as his widowed mother. Maggie. For Scott. This is the final gig in a decadus long career in radio, television, and stand up comedy. But despite his considerable experience, Scott knows that Ruth Cracknell, who played Maggie in the original series, is a difficult role to follow. To calm her nerves about stepping into such a well known role, she turned to gardening, using her favorite pruning shears. Here the comedian tells us the story of those precious pruners and two important items if there is a fire. I will save my house a visual artist who has lived an edgy and no doubt wild life for many years. In Berlin, Los Angeles, and New York, she returned home for visit a while ago. And her father and I ordered piece of art. Bonnie disappeared in our back cabin and reappeared five weeks later with most amazing piece. An 18th century woman sat calmly embroidering, while a man's decapitated head lay on the floor in corner. Beaded artwork by Scott's daughter Bonnie Lane it's elegant and irreplaceable and God knows it cost. Us a fortune it looks like a painting. But it's actually made of thousands of tiny beads that Bonnie carefully glued onto the canvas. It's perfect and irreplaceable. And God knows it cost us a fortune. My most useful object my pruning shears, bright red handles, big black blades, good quality, no expense spared. As I always say, what's the point of having cheap, lousy pruning shears? I'm angry that I did some pruning. In fact, I've been known to hack the living bejesus in our front yard when the stress is high. Like when a TV show you're starring in is about to air and you're not Ruth Cracknell. The good thing is, the garden is always alive stays on and sometimes comes back to life better than ever. I hope my career can do the same. The thing I regret losing the most a collection of my diaries from the 70s. Handwritten in Spirax notebooks from the age of 18 to 24. Those were turbulent times. Relationship disasters. Career disasters. My life was a mess and instead of telling anyone. I recorded every detail in these notebooks. I even did some freeform sketches. I lost them in a fire. A fire I lit. In the incinerator in my parents' suburban backyard because I read somewhere that burning them would set me free. My mom tried to stop me. Don't do that Denise. You might want to write a book someday. Looking back, I realize that the shy expression on my mother's face showed that she had actually read them and thought they were worth a look. I didn't feel free while the books were in the smoke. And of course, I couldn't reveal my feelings by writing about them. I burned all my diaries.